Hi guys, Koti Uttar here and my name is Anil Deshpande. In the previous video, we just saw how to add a fragment statically. In this video, we will continue with the discussion of adding a fragment dynamically. Instead of using a XML file, we will be using a activity. To do that, we will have to modify certain things. But still, the first three steps that is creating another layout, creating the fragment and setting the layout to that particular fragment, all those things remain same. However, the fragment tag that we are using in the linear layout file has to be get rid of. And instead of that, we need a placeholder which can actually host a fragment. And this could be anything for that matter. It could be a linear layout, it could be a relative layout or using a frame layout. We will use a frame layout because frame layout is designed in a such a way that it will block a particular area on the screen for hosting a single UI widget. This is the more standard practice as far as hosting a fragment is concerned. So as you can see here, we have added a frame layout. Only the difference is we have not referred to the fragment that it will host. The next step is basically writing the code to add the fragment to the activity and we will be writing it in an activity. The fifth step of writing the code to add a fragment to an activity is actually a multi-step process. The major operations associated with a fragment is you can add a fragment and you can remove a fragment or even replace a fragment which is basically remove and add a fragment. All these three operations are basically called as making a fragment transaction. That is the standard terminology of Android. To do a fragment transaction, Android provides an API called as fragment transaction. It will be having the methods like add, remove and replace using which you will be adding fragments to the activity. To get hold of the fragment transaction, you will be using a, another API called as fragment manager. So now it boils down to using these two APIs to carry out fragment transaction. The first step is using the activity to get hold of the fragment manager and then using the fragment manager to get hold of the fragment transaction. The begin transaction method will get you the fragment transaction and fragment transaction API will be providing you with the methods like add, remove and replace to do the fragment transaction operations. In this video, we will be concentrating on the only one transaction type which is add. So it is time for us to get into a demo and see how it is done. This is the main activity layout and this is how the preview would look like. We have a frame layout and this frame layout will be hosting the fragment. So let me go back to the main activity. I will create a method called as private void add fragment. The first step is to get hold of the fragment manager. To do that, I can create fragment manager instance and you will see that there are two methods. One is get support fragment manager and fragment manager. You can't use a fragment manager right now because this particular API is not supported with the app compact activity. App compact activity is something that has been provided as a part of support library to be compatible with the older versions of Android. So that is why instead of using the get fragment manager, we will use get support fragment manager. Pretty much both are one and the same. You will get a fragment manager which is more compatible with the older version of Android and that is how you make sure that you support fragments in the older versions of Android. So once you get hold of a fragment manager, it is now time to get hold of the fragment transaction. So you can do fragment transaction. Once again, we are getting an instance of support library. So fragment transaction is equal to fragment manager dot begin transaction. The next step is you have to get hold of the fragment which you want to transact. We have already defined sample fragment. This particular sample fragment is an instance of a normal fragment. This will create an issue because we are using a support library in the main activity to make it backward compatible with the older version of the Android. And that is why instead of using a normal fragment here, we will have to remove this and use a support fragment. There is a, another fragment which is from the package android.support.v4 app. So it is better to use this one because otherwise you will get a compilation error in the main activity. So let me create a sample fragment here. The next step is adding this sample fragment to the activity using the add method of fragment transaction. So we would be using 
fragment transaction dot add as you can see here there are various add methods we will be using the most simple one the first argument is the layout id in which you want to add this particular sample fragment so that would be r dot id dot fragment container and then the second argument is the sample fragment itself so when i say fragment container i am basically referring to the main activity layouts fragment container and finally i have to commit that is fragment transaction dot commit and only when you do this a fragment will get added and let me call this particular method here in the on create method of the activity and that should be it and if i run this it should work so let me run this so as you can see we have added a fragment programmatically to a activity so what you are seeing here is a very simplistic and watered down version of adding a fragment to an activity in real scenario it can be little bit more complicated you won't be having only one fragment you might be having multiple fragments you have to add one fragment on top of another fragment and you have to pop fragment you have to maintain the fragment stack there could be multiple fragments in the same activity and you want to communicate from one fragment to another fragment you want to communicate from the fragment to the activity so that activity can trigger something else to the fragment that already exists so it can get pretty interesting and we will be covering all those aspects in the upcoming videos so stay tuned that brings us to the end of this particular video don't forget to like comment share the video and subscribe to the channel take care bye